Hey what's up guys this is Sandeep Sky and in this video I'm going to show you how to dual boot Arch Linux and Windows 10 or 11 using the built in Arch install script. So without wasting any more time let's get started. So I have already made a bootable USB of Arch Linux. So if you don't know how to do this then you can watch my previous videos or any other tutorials from YouTube. So after that I'm going to open disk management and I'm going to create 70 GB for Arch Linux. Also keep in mind that this dual boot tutorial using the Arch install script will only work if you have a UEFI system. So if you have a legacy BIOS system then unfortunately this method will not work. Now let's reboot our computer and boot into our USB of Arch Linux and keep in mind that your secure boot should be off. So I have booted into the Arch Linux USB. Now to install Arch Linux we need to connect to the internet. If you have an ethernet connection you are already good to go but if you are using Wi-Fi then you can connect to Wi-Fi using the IWCTL command. Now once you are inside IWCTL you need to type device list to see your network adapters. As you can see mine is WLAN0. After that you need to type station your device name and then scan. It will scan your Wi-Fi networks around your area. And after that you need to type station your device name and then get dash networks it will list all the Wi-Fi networks in your area and after that you need to type station your device name and then connect and type your Wi-Fi SSID name as you can see mine is GLX 5G after that type your Wi-Fi password now type station and then your device name and then show as you can see I am successfully connected to my Wi-Fi now to exit out of IWCTL type quit now type LSBLK to see the list of drives in your computer now you need to identify the drive where you want to install Arch Linux mine is NVMe 0N1 which is my NVMe SSD now we are going to make partitions for our Arch Linux before installing using Arch install. So for this type CF disk and then slash dev slash your drive name. For me it is slash dev slash nvme0n1. Now locate the free space which we created using disk management in Windows. Now select the free space and select new and type 300 MB and select the type as EFI system. Now go to the free space again, select new and type 4 or 8 GB and select the type as Linux swap. Now go to the free space again, click on new and select the type as Linux file system. After you are done with the changes, select the right option and type yes. Now exit out of CF disk and on the console type lsblk again now you will see three new partitions which we just created now you need to remember the block number of these partitions as you can see for me the my efi system is nvme 0 n1 p4 yours might be slash sta something now type mkfs.vfat dash capital f32 space your efi partition of arch linux Now type MK swap and then your block number of your swap partition. After that type swap on and then your block of your spark partition. Now type mkfs.ext4 space slash dev slash my root partition block number which is nvme 0 n one p 5 Now after creating the required partitions we can finally use the built-in Arch install script to automate the Arch install process. 
so just type arch install on your console and you are good to go it will open a new interface now choose your arts language I'm good with English after that keyboard layout your mirror region if you want and local and your local encoding you can leave these options as default now the most important option is drive so select drive with where you want to install arch linux you need to be very careful now select disk layout and choose the first option which says select what to do with each individual and after that you will see the list of your partitions in your drive now you need to identify the partitions which we just created earlier now you need to choose the option which says assign mount point for a partitions now you need to identify the index number of your Arch Linux EFI partitions. For my case it is index number 3 so I'm going to choose number 3 and now for the mount point I'm going to type forward slash and then boot. Now choose the option assign mount point for a partition again. Now this time select the root partition which is ext4 partition. As you can see mine is index number 5 for the mount point I'm just going to type forward slash now select the save and exit option now go to the bootloader option and choose grub as bootloader instead of systemd now you can leave the swap option and hostname option as it is and now choose root password and set your desired root password after that go into the user account and you give a username and a password and make sure that your username has the pseudo privileges now for the profile option select the desktop option and choose your favorite desktop environment Now for the graphics driver, if you are unsure, then select the option which says all open source default. Now for the audio, you can either select PyPyre or Pulse Audio. For the kernel, you can select the default Linux or you can use Linux LTS as well. Now for the additional packages, I'm going to install Firefox, VLC, Vim, and Nano. For network configuration, choose Network Manager. After that, select the Time Zone option and type your time zone now you can leave other options as it is and you need to select the install option and it will start installing Arch Linux now this will take some time so I'm going to fast forward this part So finally the installation is completed now you need to select the yes default option so after choosing that option you need to type exit to exit out of ch root and then reboot and after that your computer will restart
now while your computer is restarting go into your BIOS menu go into your boot tab and make sure that the Arch Linux has the highest boot priority now while your computer starts you will see this grump menu but as you can see in this scrub menu we don't have the option to boot into windows so we're going to fix that so as you can see we have successfully installed Arch Linux and it is working just fine now to fix Windows 10 dual boot we're going to connect to the internet first so I'm just quickly going to connect to my Wi-Fi now open your terminal and type sudo pacman-sos-proper this will install OS proper and once OS proper is installed type sudo OS dash proper now you should see a Windows 10 something like output but if you don't have any output just like mine then type lsblk and you will see a list of drives and their partitions now you need to identify the block number of Windows 10 EFI partition for me it is NVNE0N1P1 so let's try to mount this partition in our Arch Linux so I'm first going to create a directory to mount this partition so type sudo mkdir slash mnt slash the win10 and after that type sudo mount slash dev slash your windows 10 efi block number and then space slash mnt slash win10 now if you run sudo os test proper again you will see windows 10 output this time after that you need to generate a grub config file so for this type this command grub mkconfig dash o slash boot slash grub slash grub dot cfg you need to run this command as root so type sudo beforehand and after that if you don't see any windows 10 output here as well then you need to type the command sudo nano slash etc slash default slash grub and after that you need to go to the last line which says grub underscore os proper and you need to uncomment this line by removing the hash in front of it after that press ctrl plus o to save and ctrl plus x to exit nano now rerun the grub mk config command and this time you will see windows 10 in its output and that means that you are good to go now let's reboot our computer to see if the windows 10 is showing up in grub menu or not so as you can see that windows 10 is showing up so let's try to boot into windows so now as you can see we are booting into windows and it is working just fine so that's it for the video guys thank you for watching and if you found this video helpful please leave a like and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you